Lord, as we look into your word, open our eyes, open our hearts. Let's receive your word. Let's act upon your word and let the perfection of that which you want to do become ours in the name of Jesus. Abba Father, we thank you. Let's let your word come speak to us O sweet spirit of grace speak to us instruct our hearts cause us O god to respond appropriately the way you would have us respond in the name of jesus we have prayed amen and amen hallelujah glory be to jesus we will be i'm um, talking about give me oil and we'll start our journey from isaiah chapter 61 from verse 1 the scripture says the spirit of the lord of course as that chapter 60 you know spoke about a certain darkness that will come upon the earth it says arise shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you it says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and cross darkness the people but the lord shall arise upon you and his glory shall be seen upon you so the scripture is saying that there is a season that will come upon the earth and darkness would would pervade the earth you know cross darkness is people but the scripture is saying that in that season that that is when our light should shine brightly so it says arise shine for your light is come arise shine so in the midst of the darkness of the world in the midst of the depressing economy in the midst of the things going south the scripture is saying that our light is meant to shine but one thing that makes light shine in the in bible times their light is not is not bulb is is uh lamps or torches whereby you know the mount um maybe a rag at the end of a stick dip it in oil and then the light is up and then it shines so it means that for our light to shine there is need for oil there is need to have oil there is need to um to have an immeasurable measure of oil right so that at all times as the darkness is getting darker our light will not be affected because we are connected to oil we we have oil that would light up our torches we have the oil that would make our light to shine brightly even in the midst of the darkness so as the darkness is getting darker it is time to intentionally make sure that we have oil so that our light can shine forth even in the midst of darkness and so um as we know oil can represent the spirit of god and so in the next in the very next chapter chapter 61 we begin to read the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them who are bound, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord, that's the year of favor, and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. Verse uh, 3 To appoint unto them who mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the lord that he might be glorified and on and on the scripture went so we begin to see that there are certain things or in fact everything that god wants to be made manifest in a life or in a place must be engineered by the holy ghost must be engineered by the oil it must be engineered by god so when god brings you into a season and wants you to bring forth that which he has proposed it must be birthed there must be the moving of the spirit upon your life for example in the in the beginning the the, the scripture says that the earth was without form it was void um the the, the hebrew word there or oh, um is tohu bohu mean meaning an emptiness uh, that's why message would call it a, a soup of emptiness or something like like that so it was like a wasteland so when he said that the earth was void formless it was a wasteland and it was as though nothing beautiful can ever come out of this thing but then the scripture says that the holy ghost sat upon the waters and then out of that sitting upon there was the bringing forth of beauty 
so when the scripture says that for ashes i am going to give you beauty you better believe it because everything is possible when the holy ghost sits upon the life so in the season where god wants to bring forth his counsel in the season where god wants to birth some things in our lives and through our lives there is need for the moving of the spirit upon our lives there is need for the oil there is need that we will be carriers of the oil that we will not lack oil in that season because if you lack oil in that season no matter the promises of god there will be no engineering of the promises into your life no matter how good and how pleasant the promise is so there is need for oil so he said the spirit of the lord is upon me this is one and that one will begin to happen so by the spirit these things will begin to happen he will change darkness in our lives into light he will change our sorrow into joy he will change ashes into beauty so maybe certain things have been burned burnt down in your life certain things have been raised down by the enemy in the past the lord is saying that in place of the ashes in the season of the lord he is going to translate it into a beauty and the agency through which he will do that is by the oil by the holy ghost by the holy ghost so if there is anything a man must cry for in the season in in the season of britain it is oil because oil as we know brings efficiency to machines for example so when you need your results to increase when you need your productivity to shoot up you need to lubricate your machine so the, the the holy ghost serves as the oil that brings us into greater efficiency in our lives that brings us into greater manifestation of god results so i am saying all this to say that in this season there is need to cry for oil and in matthew chapter 25 the scripture talks about the ten virgins and the ten virgins in the beginning had light their torches were on fire they had oil but the mistake of the five which made them foolish is that they were depending one of their mistakes was they were depending on the light they carried in the past to be able to sustain them in the now so that was one of the mistakes they made they thought that oh we had something with the lord in the past we had the oil in the past so it suffices but the wise people knew that there needs to be constant refreshing there needs to be constant um oil so they carried another jar of oil or they carried extra oil so that in the day that the one they had will burn out they they would be able to have another that would keep their lights burning the ones who were foolish thought that it would only take and one just one you know oh we had something with the lord in the past we had an interaction with the oil in the past and so the presence doesn't matter that one will sustain us it does not work like that because there are things that can that can cause your oil or your light to burn out and in that season you will need extra oil to keep burning so when you begin to depend on your past experiences for your present and your future you are making a mistake because you can come into your season and even though you had oil yesterday that you don't that you had oil yesterday does not mean that you have today if you don't have today you will miss your season because we read through matthew 25 that parable of the ten virgins and we see that they missed their season in the day that the bridegroom came that was their season but in that day they didn't have the the, the requisite amount of oil and therefore they missed their season the scripture says that the bridegroom came the five foolish ones had already gone out to go and look for oil and he entered in with the five wise ones and the gate was locked and they came back and they begged but they were not able to enter that season because they had missed it for a lack of oil so i am saying that it is paramount in this season to carry oil so that it will not be at the end of the season you now now start saying lord this is my oil let me in the season would have ended so to be able to maximize the seasons of the lord as it comes upon the earth you must be you must be ready with oil your vessel must not be lacking oil 
your fresh soul must not be lacking oil so you don't need to depend on oh i loved the lord in the past i i had a relationship with the holy ghost in the past the question is do you still have oil in your lamp are you still burning is your light still shining do you still have oil and so the the topic for this morning is actually a cry give me oil give me oil in my lamp give me oil that my light will shine in the midst of the darkness give me oil holy ghost that even in the season of depression in the season of the um downturn of the economy i will rise because i have oil he said thou anointed my head with oil my God run it over. It means that the oil upon your head, the oil of the Holy Ghost is able to cause a running over of your cup regardless of the sea, of the time of the earth, regardless of what is going on around you. It did not say my cup will, will run over when things are working well all around the world. It says my cup will run over. So the oil of God will produce an overflow of your cup. So in the season where the, where the Lord is turning things around for men, may you not be lacking oil. In the season where when God is visiting men, may you not be lacking oil because your lack of oil will make you not to be a recipient of what God is doing in that season. It will disqualify you because you will not be there when the bridegroom comes. So it's a, it's a question that you need to ponder on. Do I still have oil in my lamp? Do I still have oil? In the book of Songs of Solomon, I will just run through maybe three chapters or four chapters. In Songs of Solomon chapter 1, there was something beautiful going on between the, the groom and the bride. The scripture, so you will read things like in verse 2, Let him kiss me with the kisses of his mouth, for your love is better than wine because of the savour of your good ointment your name is, a, is as ointment poured forth therefore do the virgins love you draw me we will run after you the king has brought me into his chambers we will be glad and rejoice in you we will remember your love more than wine the, the upright love you so you we see something beautiful so there was oil in chapter one the oil was there in chapter one there were seasons that you carried the oil and you had something beautiful your time of fellowship was beautiful your time with the lord was beautiful you had direction you have insight you read the word of god and you get revelations you were you were you were alive in the spirit you were alive in the spirit you enjoyed your time with god you had the leadership of the holy ghost upon your life you could pick the frequencies of the holy ghost you could pick the sound of the spirit oh go this way go that way and you will be able to listen you will hear it and you will hearken to it because there was oil in your lamp there was oil in your vessel but we move to chapter three all of a sudden we begin to read that this lady that had something beautiful going on have lost a lover chapter 3 verse 1 he said by night on my bed i sought him whom my soul loves and in that season that she sought him he was not to be found he said i sought him but i found him not we were not told how she lost her lover but we read that she lost her lover so all of a sudden for some persons it is our jobs that drive up the oil because of our jobs we no longer have the oil it took away our oil we no longer serviced our lands we no longer interacted with the sellers of oil because we did not have time again in court because of our jobs what has taken your oil away what has dried up your oil for some other persons the life just doing life alone dried up the oil because they were not careful to keep buying oil they were depending on the one the single time that they bought oil and they thought that buying it once will sustain them forever but doing life will take oil from you rising up each day going to work coming back the challenges of life dealing with the issues of life they are all the things that would cause your oil to dry 
and they may not necessarily be bad things but i am saying that merely engaging with life will dry your oil once upon a time in the life of samson the scripture says that he fought a thousand philistines with the trouble of an ass of an ass his oil was filled up and after that battle after that engagement his oil was dried as the lord why would i die out of thirst after this victory and he needed to go for a refreshing so i am saying that your mere engagement with life has the capacity to dry out your oil so if you keep on dealing with life without a constant refreshing of your life or of the oil of your life you will get to a time in your life that you'll be lacking in oil not because you did any bad thing but because you simply engaged with life you did the normal things you should do as a human being and you were not careful to refresh your vessel so you will find out that a man who was bubbling in the spirit who had the leadership of the lord who had directions of the spirit who was led by the spirit all of a sudden comes to the point where he can no longer descend the voice of god not because he had an addiction not because he, had, he did something bad but because he was not careful to keep interacting with the sellers of oil he was not careful to keep interacting with things that would keep refilling his vessel so he refused in, in the season and thought it would carry him for eternity and he kept on dealing with life and little by little the way a tree dries up is little by little little by little a, a branch that has been cut off from a tree will still be green in the, in, the, in, the, in the first day but as the day progresses it will begin to to wither it will begin to dry off and that's usually the deception the enemy brings up to us because we will still be able to do some things the five foolish virgins in, in the certain season they still had light they all slept together and they can be deceived oh we are the same as these five wise ones we are the same now we are talking the same christianese we are in the same church so we are in the same category but they did not know that the wise virgins had a source of oil and so you can live in deception not knowing that you will need to interact in order to be you know to have the oil in your vessel so the question is what has taken away your oil for some persons it may even be one addiction or the other whatever it may be that has dried up your oil this is the moment this is the the time to cry for a fresh outpouring of the oil upon your life the five wise virgins told them go and buy oil it means that there is the place you can buy oil there is how your vessel can be refreshed god has not left us in the dark he has said sellers people you can go to places you can go to things you can do and you will find a restoration of your oil and so we read about this woman and the beautiful thing was that she was able to recognize that she had lost her lover because for some persons they are not able to recognize and so we live in deception all our days but this woman said i sought for my lover and i found him not so she was able to recognize oh i have lost my oil have you recognized that there are certain things that had be that had begun to creep into your life because of the lack of oil have you recognized that you need oil in your life so she said i would rise now verse 2 chapter 3 verse 2 i will rise now and go about the city in the streets and in the broad ways i will seek him whom my soul loves i sought him but i found him not so she made the decision to rise and begin to seek for oil and i would desire that every person here would make that decision that i would arise i will contend for oil in my life i will contend for oil in my life so that in this season that god wants to bring forth things i will not be i will not be a machine with that oil I will have friction all the places and will not be efficient that i will have oil and my life will be efficient in this season and will bring forth the results that god would have me bring forth in this season how thirsty are you for your lover for the oil because it was her hunger and her thirst that made her rise and go about the city in search of her lover how thirsty are you for the oil 
or do you think that the oil and whether i have oil or not it doesn't matter i can do life on my own some persons think that we can do life on our own and, and to be candid you can do life on your own no and you will have a, a certain level of success in the world but when you are talking about kingdom success you cannot come into kingdom success without the oil the devil can give you success success of course you know with the definition of success of the world but at the end of time your soul will be compromised he says what shall it profit a man to gain the world and lose his soul so it is possible to gain the whole world and but at the end you will lose your soul but there is the victory that comes with the lord whereby at the end of the day your soul is still secure that kind of victory cannot happen without the oil so she went about and she sought for her lover and Bethel says the watchman who go about the city found me to whom i said saw you him whom my soul loves so there was still the yearning for the oil it was but a little that i passed from them that i found him whom my soul loves i held him I would not let him go until I had brought him into my mother's house and into the chamber of her who conceived me. So she found the lover after she interacted with watchmen. And I would take it in this context to mean that when we return to our watches, one of the places we can buy oil is when we return to our watches. When we return to our altars, to doing business upon our altars, you will find your lover. You will find the oil in that season when you return to your altar. And one of the cries that would emanate, that should continually emanate, you know, from our altars is, Lord, give me oil. Beyond the things we can request for, the bread and the tea and all sorts of things one of the cries that must constantly be on upon our altar will be lord give me oil give me oil grant me to be oil every time because if the only cry coming out from your altar is bread and tea you will receive bread and tea and you would you your oil will run out and you will get yourself into into a mess so one of the cries that must remain upon your altar is lord give me oil give me oil in my vessel lord that i will not lack oil in my vessel give me oil in my vessel because oil is important the oil is important what is the cry of your heart is it just bread and tea or does your heart yearn for the oil of the spirit does your heart yearn to carry so that you will not be like the five foolish virgins that will keep waiting for the season and then when the season comes maybe you have been waiting for the season and then when the season comes you will be lacking oil what a disaster that you have waited for the bridegroom for so long and then in the day that the bridegroom appears you lacked oil it must not be our testimony now we lift up our voice and cry out to the lord in the next five minutes i say lord restore my oil Maybe you have had something in the past with the Holy Ghost. You had the oil flowing endlessly, endlessly in your life. But now you cannot, you cannot even descend the voice of God. You have lost direction. You have lost focus. You are now doing your own thing, your own way. Can you cry out for the oil and say, Lord, give me oil in my vessel. Give me oil. Give me oil in my vessel, oh Lord because it will take the oil for the things of the lord to be made manifest in your life if you are waiting for the victory that comes from the lord you must not be lacking in oil he said the spirit of the lord is upon me by that spirit i would enter into beauty where there was ash before i would enter into gladness where there was depression before there will be the rebuilding of the things that we are torn down in my life because of the oil. Can you cry for the oil? I say, Lord, restore the oil of my life. Restore the beauty of intimacy with the Holy Ghost in my life. Restore my oil. Give me oil in my vessel. This is one moment that you can engage and buy oil for your life in this season.
that this season will not pass you by oh sarah de Capania. he says my horn you have exalted like that of the unicorn you have anointed me with fresh oil there is the place where god can anoint your head with fresh oil you can be anointed with fresh oil can you say lord holy ghost anoint my head with fresh oil resute na mantoa resure kapa motion atania reso venetaya letolia siro venetania anoint my head with fresh oil anoint my head with fresh oil resombre tali zune kabali zutera alio sevaratania aina marate barafelena where are you my darling darling oh where have you lost your lover where have you lost your darling where have you lost your oil it is time to cry out where are you truly calling for your lover are you truly calling for the oil are you saying holy ghost come once again i am yearning for you your baby is calling on to you your baby is seeking you this morning that there will be uh, the anointing of your head with fresh oil the anointing of your head with fresh oil you have recognized that you have lost it in the past You've recognized that you are no longer, it is no longer how it used to be. And you are saying, Lord, restore this morning what I had with you. Restore this morning, O Lord. Restore. Restore oil in my vessel. Restore oil in my vessel. Shana kabara filenai. Zene no rafi velura filetene ki momoto veletaya. Shandu reveleta. Zeno rafilo frefe su frefe le teni azuzo frete ke balatoa. Zeno ntera filo rafande sumbre file tania. Jona no se vino rafile tenia. Combre fa sumbre file tania. I declare the flow of oil in this place right now in the name of Jesus into our lives. I declare the flow of oil. As many as are desirous, as many as are yearning for this fresh oil in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, let your oil come upon in the name of Jesus. Let there be a flow. Let there be a flow. Let there be a flow in the name of Jesus. Let there be a flow. Let the river of oil. Flow, Zinamon Daracasia Oba, Refelatore de la Tania, Le Sude la Baha, Genu Capelatania, let the oil flow, let the flow of oil be made manifest in this place in the name of Jesus. As many as have put their hands upon this altar, let the oil touch in the name of Jesus. Let there be the restoration of the oil in the name of Jesus. Wherever you have lost it, I declare you will find it. You will find the oil. You will buy. You will interact with the oil. Your life will not be deficient of the oil in the name of Jesus. And the Lord is saying, return to the things you were doing in the days you had the oil. Return to the things you were doing in the days you had the oil. There was a season you had the oil. What were you doing in those seasons? He says, return return to those things that is what we will we, we make the oil to be sustained in this season 